Hello, good morning. We are going to report about the Region 3, which is also called Central Luzon. Central Luzon, or the Region 3, is composed of Zambala, Starlac, Nueva Ecija, Aurora, Bulacan, Pampanga, and as well as Bataan. The background of the Region 3 will be tackled by my co-members, Christine Gregorio. Central Luzon. Central Luzon is composed of seven provinces, 14 cities, 116 municipalities, and 3,102 barangays. It is a combination of towering mountains, extinct and active volcanoes, lush, verdant farmlands, and natural sea harbor. Region 3 is also called the rice granary of the Philippines because it produces one-third of the country's total rice production. Central Luzon has the longest contiguous area of lowlands, also known as the Central Plains of Luzon. This includes all land area north of Manila Bay from the tip of Bataan Peninsula on the west and all the land, lands north of Carabalho Mountains on the east. Central Luzon also has its shares of colorful history. Malolos Bulacan was the place where the first constitution of an independent Philippines was promulgated on January 21, 1899. Tarlac Town became the seat of the Philippines. So, I am going to report about the religion in Region 3 which is also called as Central Luzon. The dominating religions are Roman Catholic, Protestant, Islam, Iglesia de Cristo, and Christians. 80% of the population in Central Luzon is Roman Catholic. Other religions represented are Protestants, including Evangelicals, Islam, and Iglesia de Cristo. In this region, also where the members of the Church of God International, also known by many as Amdatik Daan, and their headquarters is located in Apalik, Pampanga, where most members are. There are also other denominations such as Jesus is Lord Pentecostal Missionary Church of Christ, Jesus Miracle Crusade, and others. Let us now proceed to Central Luzon's language and dialect. In Nueva Ecija, Tagalog is predominantly spoken by the, by the Nueva Ecijanos, composing 67.7% followed by the Urbano dialect at 29.23%. While in Pampanga, Kapampangan, English, and Tagalog are spoken and understood anywhere in the province. In Aurora, the pro province speaks predominantly Tagalog and in some parts in Urbano. While in Bataan, Tagalog is the main language and is widely used, followed by Pampango and Ilocano. In Tarlac, Pampango or Kapampangan is spoken by half of the population, followed by Ilocano. In Zambales, Sambal, Tagalog, and Ilocano are the three main languages. Bulacan, Tagalog is the language used in the province, followed by Waray, Ilocano, and Kapampangan. So, next discussion is about the cultural tradition of Region 3, or also called the Central Luzon. Birth practices. Close relatives of a woman who is about to deliver a child, together with their neighbor, make nice with shouting, meeting in cancer, clothing, high crackers, in order to help his brother. Third, so in this birth practices, the human na sana. <laughs> so, yung woman who is a pregnant, pag mag-deliver na siya ng child, the relatives should be uh, make noise, something like that. So, what is one of the practices? The baby's baptismal dress serves as a souvenir and a decoration for the sala. It is put on a frame and hung in the sala like a picture. So, baptismal right process. This, the hinami ko ng baby, the show B, gagawin po yung, ano, yung baptismal dress niya, ilalagay po siya sa sala. Ihahang po siya as a souvenir. Next is culture and tradition under culture to marriage. Pamantikan, where the males with the permission of the parents is to visit the girl in the latter's house. So, like in the Philippine custom and tradition, something like this, magliligaw po yung lalaki kung nasa bahay ng babae para haratahin. Next one is culture and tradition and their death and burial. Pasyang, video is observed till the ninth day after the death of the deceased. Lucas Paldas, removing of the dress for mourning. Pangadi, Prayer of servants. Um, culture and tradition under beliefs. Luno, the old men who reside in mounds. Makukulang, flesh of dead men, woman, possessing dreadful evil power. Yanaka, evil spirits who inaabi, forced in bamboo tickets. And now, I'm going to report the provincial capital of Region 3 
network so called the central zone in the Aurora the, pro the provincial capital of Aurora is Baler the home of president Manuel L. Quezon well known for fishing because it is located along the Pacific Ocean famous for its Museo de Baler the most popular fishes in the province are tuna tulingan blue marlin ranigi and lapu lapu the food trips of Aurora is suman, vegetable dishes, dinataang sitaw at kalabasa, yellowfin tuna, grilled yellowfin, buko or yang coconut pies. Next is the Bataan. The provincial capital of Bataan is the Balanga City, the famous for its World War II Museum. The Bataan are the buko pie, gourmet products, salted shrimp paste, tuyo, smoked fish, balot, cashew butter, pancita labok, tinap. Tinapa, Pasalubong, and Beef Tinapa. Next is Zambales. The provincial capital of Zambales is Iba, the home of Ramon Magsaysay. Famous in Subic Bay Freeport. The food trips are the Bagnet, Ginipang, Pastillas, Longga, and Mangoes. Next is the Tarlac. The provincial capital of Tarlac is Tarlac City, most multicultural of the Central Luzon provinces. Monast Monasterio de Tarlac is one of their popular tourist destinations, best known for its fine foods and vast sugar and rice plantation. The food trips of Tarlac are the Nilubian, Chicharon, Kamiling, Tupig, Sisig, and Seafood Fish. Pampanga. The provincial capital of Pampanga is San Fernando City, famous for its Metropolitan Cathedral of San Fernando. The food trips of Pampanga are the Morcon, Sisig, Batote, Togac, Camaro, Pindang Calabao, Brenghe, Taba ng, Calab ng Talangka, at Balobalo. The provincial capital of Bulacan is Malodos, the home of the country's greatest talents. Francisco Baltazar Balagtas, Nicanor Abilardo, and Guillermo Tolentino. Famous for its Biyak na Pato National Park. The food trips of Bulacan are the Chicharon, Lechon Kawale, Yerma, Lechon, Lechon Flan, Putok, Makapuno, and Makapuno Candy Balls, Pastillas, Pilipit, Bucheron, and Binanli. Nueva Ecija. Provincial capital of Nueva Ecija is Palayan City, the home of Filipino hero Apolinario Mabini. A place where statue of General Luna built. The food trips of Nueva Ecija are the tilapia ice cream, punas ice cream, pinapaitang kambing with alibangbang leaves, budal fight, local kakanin, batuta in kabanatuan langganisa, bangus spaghetti, buko lumpia, carabao's milk product. I'm going to report the tourist spot in Central Luzon. Ano we go? An undeveloped paradise tackled in the Zambales Mountain, a popular camping site among outdoor and mountaining groups. Anawigan Cove is familiar to each white. This one is the Bataan bird watching. It may be found at the Balanga City. Thick mangrove forests, westland, grassland, and mud floods have provided a natural food basket for both migratory and endemic bird species for years making the area one of the most populated bird sites in the Philippines. This one is the Monasterio de Tarlac, relics of the True Cross. Located at Brangay, Lubingan, San Jose, Tarlac, the Monasterio de Tarlac was established in 2003 as the heritage house for five monks of the Priory of the Servants of the Risen Christ. Tayo dito ay yung the Servant of the Risen Christ, kung saan Libo-libong taong pupunta dito upang makita lamang yung cross na yun. Hindi, tala, hindi naman talaga siya cross, hindi image siya ng Christ na nakakaganito. Next, next. <laughs> Islas Casas, Filipinas, Di Akusar. Located Ule. in Baga. Uli! Mai! Nakin na kita. One, go! The fourth one is the Las Casas, Filipinas, Di Akusar. Located in Baga, Bataan, a unique resort. It's a replica of the old Filipino town with ancestral home and buildings 
dating from the 18th to the early 20th century. There are no power lines and driving lanes, only lampposts and cobblestone roads. Dito, uh, kailan siya sa mataas at uh, maraming uh, hot springs. Kasi nga, uh, siyang dormant volcano. And kaya rin siya sa pagkakaroon ng maraming falls. And that's it. Region 3 or Central Luzon is not only well known from its tourist spots as well as the foods of it, but of course for their writers. First slide is, or the first writers in Region 3 or Central Luzon is Francisco Balantas E. De La Cruz. And the Region 3 or the Central Luzon is Francisco Balantas E. De La Cruz, which is also known as Francisco Balazar. He was born on April 2, 1788 and died on February 20, 1862. His, uh, his nickname is Kiko Addison. He is also a prominent Filipino poet and as well as the widely considered one of the greatest Filipino literary laureates. He was also known for his notable works which is Florante at Laura na alam naman natin na tinuturo um, sa high school. And also the notable works of the Francisco Baltazar is the La India Elegante E. El Negrito which is a uh, witness poet. Second of the notable works of Francisco Baltazar is La India Elegante E. El Negrito Amante which is a short play in one part as well as the Rosman and Zafira, a comedian in three parts. He's also a he is also the husband of Juana Tiambe Wagaya. Second slide is Marcelo Hilario Del Pira of Ulet. The second writer which is notable in Region 3 or Central Luzon is Marcelo Hilario Del Pilar E. Gatmaitan. He was born on August 13, 1850 and died on July 4, 1896. Um, Marcelo Hilario Del Pilar is a Filipino writer, not just a Filipino writer, a um, brother. He is also a lawyer, journalist, and as well as the Queen of Sun. He is also the, one of the leaders of the reform movement in Spain. He writes 150 essays. 66 editorial, mostly published in La Soledad. Olet. For his 150, Olet nga. Olet. He was notable in his 150 essays and 66 editorials, mostly published in La Solidaridad, which is, we know that is well known or famous in writings. He is also known as the father of Philippine journalism and as well as the father of Philippine masonry. And the Masonic Grand Lodge of the Philippines is named after him, which is Claridel Masonic Temple. So third of the notable writers in Region 3 is... Oh, ulit. Sige, okay na. Okay, the no The SB card is full full na mess. <laughs>
tradition sa wika Filipino which is notable sa pag translate ng mga Filipino languages. Virgilio also is the chairman of the National Commission for Culture as well as the Arts and the recipient of numerous awards such as several like Palanca Awards, two grand prizes from Cultural Center of the Philippines, and the Magkatanong Taon na Komisyon sa Wika Filipino, and so on. So, this is the notable works of Virgilio, which is Sonetus Postumus. So, this is the work, or the notable works of Virgilio and Mario, which is the most notable of it is Tatlong Pasyon sa Ating Panahon, which is a poem for children with illustrations, as well as the Sonetus Postumus, a book of poems with translation by the other person.
Ben wrote for him in their way to meet Esteban at the station. Dr. Lazarus tried to open a conversation with him. He asked Ben what was the book he was reading. So Ben told him about it and he mapped Ben of becoming a regular science outlet. Ben told him about it and he mapped Ben of becoming a regular safe like her mother. He told Ben that perhaps he would go on the medicine after um I do to gain eternal life, but love, there was only so much love. 